Okay, John, uh, what is it like to, to, to be back on the road again, finally? Actually, we're having a, such a great time, man. I, I hope we never come off the road, because we miss playing a lot. And, and you can tell the, our friends who have seen us a lot, and they said, God, you guys look so happy, man. You look happier than you guys have ever looked before. So, And we're just having a ball, man. It's just a lot of fun. The shows have been really good, and the crowd response over here in America is starting to really happen for us over here now. So uh, it's looking good. It's exciting to be on the road with two new members, I believe. Yeah, and they, you know, the two new guys give a little fresh kick in the ass to us every night. So, uh, and the fans have received them very well. You know, have accepted them very well. Uh, they're doing both of them are doing a great job, and I can't complain about anything right now. Okay, uh, tell us a little bit about uh, Damon, your, your new vocalist. I don't think people know him from before. No, Damon is a, a, a guy. Actually, the same person who introduced me to Zach introduced me to Damon so that person already had huge credibility with me as far as his uh, you know opinion on singers and when I met Damon I was instantly struck by his uh, charisma he has an amazing charisma about him um You know, he hasn't really done anything before. He's a younger guy. He's only 26, and uh, he's got, you know, he's something that I'm very excited about working with in the future on the next, you know, next few Sabotage records because uh, it's someone I think he melds with me very well. We work together very well. So uh, I think it's going to be exciting. Hmm. Uh, did you ever consider to, to let your new vocalist sing on your new album, or what did you yeah, do that yourself? We didn't, I would have if I would have met him if I would have met him while we were still in the studio I would have brought him in on the album but the thing was was that we were so late with the album as it was when Zach decided he wasn't going to didn't want to do things anymore we were already six seven months later than we wanted to be so at that time we would have had to shut everything down and start auditioning singers it could have held us up for another six months so we just figured the best thing at the time would be just well, I'll just finish the record and We'll find somebody after, break them in on tour, you know, work with them, make sure that everyone's happy, and bring them in on the next record. Uh, what does it sound like? Does it sound like uh, Zach, or does it sound like you? you or sound, I'll tell you what, it's scary. When he close, when you close your eyes, you can swear it's Zach. Really? But he can also go into my world also. He, his voice is very dynamic like that. He can go from one extreme to the other. Where Zach was a great singer, and I love Zach very much. Like he's like a brother to me but Zach was a little bit more one dimensional Damon is is very three dimensional he can go very very heavy he can sing death metal and he can sing something like All That I Bleed off the Edge of Thorns album and make you want to cry I mean it's that he's that good the guy's amazing you know so uh, he was a wonderful find someone was looking out looking over me when I found him so yeah. uh, do you sing much live now with the Sabotage? Yeah, I sing a lot in the show it's pretty much we pretty much much sing, you know, it's a pretty much a 50-50 thing, really. I sing enough to where it doesn't hurt my voice to where I'm happy and the fans are happy and he covers all of Zach's material and I let him do a couple things with me of the oldies that we do and uh, we share some, he does, there's a lot of singing on the new record anyway so there's plenty of stuff for him to do in those songs. So yeah, I mean, uh, you know, we're working him in, you know, and uh, as he's getting more comfortable and we're getting more comfortable, I'm giving him a little, you know, more to do here and there, you know, and Whatever, whatever I feel he can handle, um, that he br you know brings to that level, I let him do. Hmm. Uh, what he can't do, I do. Yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, uh, what is the material on on poets and, and madman uh, like playing live? I mean, do you have any live favorites in particular on the album? Long yeah. Surrender is my favorite live song. Yeah. Uh, are you still testing your new material out live? That, I mean, that you pick some songs one night and different songs the other night, or do you know which songs you, you like to, to perform off the new album? Um, we have. We we're right now we're doing four songs off the new album in this in this version of the tour. Um, uh, we're doing Commissar, Surrender, Awaken, and the Morphine Child. So that you know, Morphine Child being a ten minute song, it's like a half hour's worth of new material. And then the other hour of the show is basically the history of Sabotage. We go from Sirens material through Power of the Night material through Mountain King material, Gutter, Streets. We we kind of like feature all. All the the uh, different eras of the band in the show, and we do like a half hour, 40 minutes worth of new material. All right, uh, this is your your first album on a smaller label. 
nuclear yes. blast. Um, uh, what is it like to be on a smaller label for, for sabotage? For us, it's good here in America. I mean, we're on a big label there we're, we're in Europe, but here in America, we were kind of getting lost in the shuffle with the Atlantic Records. Uh, you know, um, we were a small fish in a big in a big ocean. You know, and now with Nuclear Blast, it's a small label with a lot of young people who are out there trying to you know make a name for themselves, and and they're giving us the personal attention that we need. You know. Mm -hmm. So it's very, been very good for us. Okay. Uh, how many albums are we going to do for Nuclear Blast? Uh, I think uh, five. All right. So stay there for a while then. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. We're not going nowhere. <laughs> uh, you're, you're playing your hometown uh, tonight? Yes. Yeah, and I believe you're looking forward to that? Yeah, I have. it's a madhouse here. It's already crazy here. It's only 2.30 in the afternoon, and it's already starting to get nuts. So it's going to be a great show tonight. So I'd like you to pick two classic um, sabotage songs that you prefer. Okay, well, one would have to be Tonight He Grins Again Off the Streets, which is more, probably my favorite sabotage song, because it's uh, the songs, a lot of it's about myself. And uh, the other one I'd say is Beyond the Doors of the Dark. That's a classic. 